Good morning, my dear students. Once more, I am with you here. This is Sara Vijit conducting online classes for Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Kokrajhar. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, for classes 9 and 10, subject information technology, code number 402. And this is a board subject. We are in Unit 3, Session 9, 10, and 11. We will try to complete today. <coughs> and we are in spreadsheet today we will follow up this following things one is chart then filter and sorting then calculate data across worksheet and calculate data across workbook these are the few things that we are going to cover up today we will try to cover up today so in my last video uh, I have discussed about I ended with discussing about uh, starting I ended with discussing about chart starting of the chart okay I I had started chart in my previous video lecture so today I will show you chart into little more details okay so let's start with chart so I already made a chart for you here I already made a chart for you here this chart this is one chart so I'll just delete this chart this is one chart very wonderful beautiful chart okay so as I said that before you create chart then you must have data actually with you ready because uh, as I say chart is the graphical representation of the data that we have in our hand okay so your data must be ready before you go for creating a chart and you can see I have created here a beautiful table I have created here a beautiful table so on the basis of this table we have created this chart now let's create chart again so that you know how to create it okay so for creating chart just select the range of cells uh, which contain your data and information okay so after that go to insert sorry first you select it nicely after that go to insert and then these are the various types of charts okay line column pie bar area scatter so let's deal with the column chart okay and once I teach you column chart the rest of the charts you can easily apply whenever you practice and uh, I wish if you have maximum of you have computers in your home so if you get time please practice so let's select the first chart type this is this is how the chart is coming so my dear students you see this chart is coming uh, together with the together with the table so there is one option that this chart can come separately in a separate sheet like I have bring I have shown you already and uh, the chart that has come in a separate sheet so how can we bring this chart or how can we just transfer this chart in a separate sheet without this table without displaying this table so how to do this just select this chart and go to this move chart option can you see the move chart option this side the corner yeah the last and we are in the design tab now okay once you select the chart the design tab will automatically come here so just the design tab and move chart when you click in move chart you will get here two options one is new sheet another object in this sheet okay the same sheet where the table is there and I will click a new sheet and I'll click OK and you see you see this chart has come now in a separate sheet okay and it is looking more beautiful more clear more visible than the other one which is coming along with the table so you see uh, this is the chart area and from here I can select my design okay like I have selected this design last time I can select my design from here so various types of designs you can apply to your, to your chart okay so this is my favorite and also this is my favorite this is my favorite so uh, before we go into design let's go to the this one mm, 
to the normal one first of all <coughs> so that you understand how do we format the chart area in my last video i have already explained you the different elements of the chart the the various names that we get in the chart okay so now you see this uh, each and everything we can format okay like if we select this and right click here and uh, uh, we click in format plot area and then we get here solid fill means you see in this way we can color it okay no fill then no color like that border color if we see the border colors just from here you select any color and uh, and transparency also you can select so these are the various way of modification okay in this way you can modify the chart area okay you can see you can see one side has come red in color so in this way you can modify each and everything in your chart okay it has come red color you can see in this way you can modify each and everything in your chart you can even modify this uh, this grid lines you can even modify this grid lines so from here you can give a color you can give a color to these grid lines you can give your line styles also various types of line styles will come and then uh, it will be displayed accordingly so you see uh, again the bars okay if you just right click in the bars and click here uh, you see add data labels if you click here add data labels the data will be displayed here like this just click on the bars and add data labels just click on the bars add data labels the data will be visible in this way so in this way you can see the data okay as well as just click in the bar and if you want to change the color of this bar that is also that is also possible that is also possible just go to fill solid color and from here uh, whatever color you want to choose you can choose from here you see this this is the way you can change this is the way you can change okay this is the way you can change this is the way you can change and these are legends as i have discussed already in my last video these are legends just select it click right click and uh, it's coming here format legend just click in format legend and then you can give fill color to the legends and uh, you can give border color you can give border styles you can give shadow effects to this legends okay and uh, as well as as well as uh, you can increase the size also of the legends you can increase the size of the legend from here like this okay so and here these things also you can change just right click format axis you can format the axis there are various options are coming here so you can just uh, check one by one options like this from here you can check so many options are there line color line style shadow 3d format there are various types of options has come here so i cannot or i will not show you every options one by one these options you will try when you go to the machine room or when you sit with the machine you will try these options one by one and find out that what are the uh, what are the effects what are the effects that comes with this option so uh, this is modification just enough you just click here first right click uh, so select select it with left click first of all you have to select it you have to select it with left click so like i have selected the access area select it with left click and then uh, right click first left click then right click and then format axis okay as well as uh, left click again there is an option called change chart type from here you can change the chart type also this is possible you can change your chart type also any other chart type also you can take it from here just right click just right click anywhere on the chart for the for the formatting of the chart okay just right click anywhere in the chart and you get um, numerous options you get so many options you get so many options here just just right click just right click and uh, and you can you can get every details you can get every details of the chart okay so in this way you can format the chart area in this way you can format the chart area okay and uh, this is how we have created chart and finally i will i will apply my this uh, design here so that so that it looks good it looks really good 
so you see it is looking very nice it is looking it, it has got a shape it has got a shape it is really looking very good so in this way 